Hello everyone, it is your homegirl Natalie. How you guys doing man? Sorry about my voice because I just came back from Jeju and I had gotten sick and I think it's because we went to this waterfall. You know, we went like in front of the waterfall and it was already cold out. I wasn't wearing like, you know, like super warm stuff afterwards. So that's probably what happened. I haven't done uh, a favorites video since November. <laughs> Sorry about that. But with that said, uh, let's just get started. So I'm going to start off with some beauty items. So the first one is this VOV Eye Heal Eyeliner. Funny that it doesn't say anything on the bottle that it's waterproof, but holy moly, is it waterproof, man. I know because like I'm in South Korea, so you know, makeup should be like a breeze, apparently, but there are so many options. So it's a little bit crazy trying to figure out what will work for you. I stumbled upon this eyeliner uh, by this discount store right by my house, um, and it was right when I ran out of my like Holy Grail Jane Cosmetics one, so I was pretty desperate. The sales attendant told me that this would be like the closest to what I had, and because of the like kind of almost like cheap packaging, not the typical like really cutesy, awesome like Korean packaging, I was kind of skeptical. However, she was totally right. When it comes to my eyeliner, I'm so like I'm very adamant about the fact that it has to have a brush tip applicator. For me, that's just the way that I do my eyeliner. I feel like I have more control when I'm doing my eyeliner and this one definitely works. I have to say, it surpasses my Jane Cosmetics one and it was only $6. So it was a pretty good price uh, and it works super well. Like I have gone kayaking, I have gone to the waterfall, I have uh, swam with this on and it does not come off. It is so awesome. I'm so happy I found this. Next up are these Oh My Jelly lipsticks from Etude House. I came across this product through a Refinery29 article where they basically praise it's kind of like mood ring effect. Basically being with every swipe, um, the color just gets more intense and I think that's what really intrigued me because typically I hate gloss, uh, lip gloss, I hate glossy lipstick. I'm usually just always in like matte, bold lip colors. That's just what I really like. But I'm really, really happy that I gave these guys a shot, man. These are glossy without being sticky. These are moisturizing without me having to put on chapstick. And also it leaves like a nice tint afterwards if I were to take this off because I'm actually wearing it right now mixed in with a little bit of a dark lipstick right here. And surprisingly, the 202 color, um, actually the color I'm wearing right now, this turns into such a really, really pretty pink. Like, I don't like wearing pinks. I feel like it kind of looks a little bit weird on me and I am kind of have this red hair going on, so pinks are like danger zone. But no, this color, I feel like it looks really natural and it looks really nice and I'm happy, so happy I bought these. The only downside is that I probably will buy every other color. For fashion items, in a desperate, desperate attempt to find something pink, I came across this uh, New York shirt at this shop that I usually go to in the underground shopping district in Eun and uh, which I think the sales attendant and I are like best friends, even though she doesn't speak any English and my Korean isn't all there, but we always are, are like, you know, every time we see each other, so. But yeah, this shirt was only five bucks, okay? And it has basically become my second skin, man. It has like a worn in, like t-shirt feel without it being a t-shirt or worn in. And it just like makes me feel so comfortable. And I feel like the, the cut and the fit just looks really nice on me. And what I love about it is that I could like dress it up and like maybe like go to work with it or like just go out to hang out with friends or I could just wear it to bed. When I was in Busan, we passed by this store selling red eye shoes and it was a big banner for like $9.99 shoes, da da da. And I'm like, oh my god, $9.99. Well, more like, you know, like 900, 9,900 won. And I was like, whoa, that's like so cheap. Oh my god, I'm gonna go buy some. And I saw these and I was like, holy moly, it's like a really like cool like silver platinum color and they're like espadrilles and like all sorts of awesomeness. I like asked a guy for like my size. I go to the cashier and I'm like, I'm gonna buy these. Yeah, like 10,000 won. And the dude was like, actually, it's uh, you know, 20,000 won. And I'm like, 20,000 won. I ain't paying no $20 for these shoes. Hell no. Why? The day that we were leaving, which was actually the next day, I couldn't stop thinking about these shoes. I was like, I really, really want them. I think they're so cool and I think I should get them. So I went back and I bought them 
for the freaking twenty dollars, which is something I definitely would not do back in the states because I think twenty dollars for this type of shoe is crazy. But I am so happy that I did because I wear these all the time. They're super comfortable and they make any outfit, even if I'm wearing kind of like something a little bit like me. I feel like with this on, it adds like a little bit more oomph to it and I'm really happy about that. No anime this month, I've just been watching the normal ones that I typically watch, which are One Piece, Fairy Tale, Detective Conan, um, but if this counts for anything, I did introduce Psycho Pass to my friend because um, it was short enough and interesting enough that I think that she would enjoy. So I've been re-watching Psycho Pass, if that counts for anything. If you like KND, I'm pretty sure you know her, Lim Kim. She is half of two months and a really great young artist. Her third mini album, Simple Mind, was something that was totally different from her past releases from her work with two months and it was such a nice surprise she had collaborators like uh primary benzino chinese junghyun i don't know if i said that right and her voice is so breathy and airy that it just makes any song sound really unique and that's why I really really like her voice. Her title track was something that I think anyone from anywhere could enjoy. It's not like oh okay this is k-pop music or like oh this is cake indie. No it feels like it would be that cool song that you found on SoundCloud and now want to tell everyone. It's like that type of song. But my favorite song has to has to be a fair. It gives me like major neon bunny feels and uh, it's like electro pop and like mixed in with like retro, mixed in with like eargasmness, and it's just super good. I really enjoyed this song. I know some people were kind of saying like, oh, there's too many different elements or whatever clashing into it. No, I really freaking enjoy this song. I listen to this all the time. It just, it's so good. So good. And speaking of Neon Bunny, Neon Bunny did a collaboration with Spaz Kid like about five months ago uh, on this song called Daytime Disco. When it first came out, I like played the crap out of it so much that, you know, I got a little bit tired of it. But I, you know, rediscovered it in my playlist and I'm like, oh my god, so good. Baz Kid is an artist that has, not has, but is really popular within the YouTube community. I would like to say a lot of people use his music. I use his music for videos. Um, so seeing when him and then Neon Bunny came together for a song, I was just like, what? Two fandoms colliding. <laughs> and like, if I were to put a voice to his music, it would definitely be Neon Bunny because I feel like she has such a unique sound. Like even my sister that isn't all about like K-pop or K&B likes her. And for me, that's like a big deal. I think that's just really awesome about you know, the internet is that you could do this type of stuff. I think that's pretty freaking cool. So if you guys haven't listened to it, I will put the link down below and you can thank me later. <laughs> and that was it. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you for supporting. I know I haven't done like an informative like my life in Korea video yet, but things have been a little bit crazy, a little bit busy, and I'm still adjusting to everything here, so I hope my vlogs can suffice for the time being. Don't forget to subscribe because I would totally, totally appreciate it. I do have a bunch of videos coming up. It's just mostly vlogs, uh, one style video, but it's a little bit hectic because I'll come up with like a crap ton of footage. I mean, I want to you know, like, cut it down to the best that it can. So bear with me. Also, if you like this video, please give it two big old thumbs up. And I say two because you probably have two Gmail accounts. Do not lie. Do not lie. I know you do. And just once again, thank you so much, everyone, for all your support. Uh, thank you so much to my friends and family that have been very supportive throughout my time here. Uh, thank you for my family always worrying about me, you know, making sure that, like, I'm good over here. But I am good over here, man. Life has been treating me very well. Uh, since I've been in Korea. Yeah, definitely. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Gets me every time. Oh, 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 oh,